Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and a few days ago, Google announced and started the rollout of Android 5.1 to Nexus devices. Now that would include the Nexus 5, the Nexus 7 2012 Wi-Fi version, and the Nexus 10, I believe. But of course, in the coming weeks, it will start rolling out to the Nexus 6, the Nexus 4, and the rest of the Nexus 7 versions, and the Nexus 9, and any other Nexus I miss that's still currently supported. But anyway, I thought it'd be a good time, since I've got it running here on my Nexus 5, to go ahead and show you guys what's new in Android 5.1. Now I just want to preface this by saying that this is the factory image, so this is straight 5.1 from Google servers. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So first up, I'll go ahead and take a look at the lock screen. If you have the quick settings uh, pulled down on the lock screen to toggle Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or something like that, uh, it used to take two swipes, one to dismiss or pull up the quick settings and then one to unlock your device if you wanted to unlock it while they were down. Now that one swipe, as long as you do it below the quick settings panel, will both dismiss the quick settings and unlock your device, which is really convenient. Now, of course, if you still just want to dismiss the quick settings and not unlock your device in that one swipe, just swipe up on the quick settings themselves. So here you can see one swipe does it all. Really convenient, and I definitely like that they implemented that. Next up is a subtle addition. The orientation toggle now has the nice little animation back from the Android L developer preview that we saw all the way back in the summer of last year. 5.0, it didn't really have the animation, but 5.1, it is back, which is awesome because it's such a cool little animation. We've also got the ability to more easily manage Wi-Fi and Bluetooth networks from the quick settings. So before in 5.0 on the Nexus 6 on the right, you had to tap the Wi-Fi uh, and then go ahead and go into the settings to manage that. Now you can just tap the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi and it'll give you a list of uh, devices that you can connect to uh, either wireless networks or uh, Bluetooth devices, which is really convenient and actually something that some custom ROMs have been doing for quite a while. So it's nice to see that Google's implemented this. Now we also have the option to hide a newly added quick toggle. So for example, if you've recently toggled uh, the invert colors or a hotspot, in 5.0, that would stay there for 30 days, and it was really annoying because you couldn't get rid of it. But now, if you just go ahead and long press on one of those quick toggles that you've added, you can actually hide it, which is really convenient, and you don't have to wait the 30 days, which is really annoying and kind of weird that they had that there in the first place, but I'm glad to see that they've gotten rid of it. The clear all notifications has also gotten a little rework in the way that it looks and a little animation, which is another subtle addition that I really like. Also, if we receive a message, we can now swipe up to dismiss the notification, but it will stay in the notification bar or the notification area, which is super handy because I was tired of swiping away messages and then not having them in the notification area. So I'm really glad that Google went ahead and allowed us to swipe up on an incoming message or any other notification and still have it be in the notification area. So another subtle addition in Android 5.1 is to the clock. We can see nice little animations up there as I swipe through each section for the alarms and the clock, the timer and the stopwatch and all that good stuff. And they look really nice. And it's something that uh, makes me really enjoy using Android 5.0, 5.1 Lollipop. Uh, just having these nice animations continue to be implemented and included in the OS make it look really nice. So there also appears to be a bug that has been squashed, the multitasking or recent apps bug. So if you swipe away all of the uh, recent apps, you won't get anything left there in 5.1, but in 5.0, if you went and swiped away all of your apps from the recents, uh, sometimes there would be a random app that pops up, which was really weird, and it seems that they've squashed that because I haven't been able to replicate it on my Nexus 5 running Android 5.1. And lastly, for the volume area, we do have little uh, icons above all priority and none, and we can set priority mode until the next alarm if that alarm is in the same day, which is uh, pretty nice, whereas before it just looked kind of bland and we didn't really have those icons, and we also didn't have the option to set priority mode until the next alarm. But yeah, that was pretty much all of the aesthetic changes. Uh, there's also under the hood changes like HD voice uh, for newer devices like the Nexus 6 running on T-Mobile and Verizon, dual SIM support, device protection, so if you're report your device lost or stolen, uh, Google will require you to sign in with your Google account again, even if it's been factory reset uh, for that device to be used. Uh, some people have said that the memory leak problem has been fixed, so that should be really nice. It should help performance and battery life should hopefully be better with this update. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to end the video. That was my quick look at what is new in Android 5.1, sort of comparison with Android 5.0. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, down there for more and uh, if you guys have any questions or maybe i missed something uh go ahead and leave a comment down below but anyway i will catch you guys in the next one peace